want to invite you to take your seats. So I think it's time to start our conference. And uh, all the moderation of the conference uh, will be done by Mr. Torsvera from Norway. Please. Everyone. Love us, Christians. Welcome to this uh, conference here at the Svigert Vigation Conferencia. I'm Tosvaj Domindesio, the CEO of Green Business Norway. Green Business Norway. And together with my Municipality, I am welcoming you to this conference on circular initiatives in European communities. I am representing a partnership of, between Norwegian, Estonian, Lithuanian and Ukrainian partners. And we are looking into ways to improve waste management and circular economy initiatives. Ir mes ieškome būdų, kaip patobulinti atlikų valdymą ir žiedinę ekonomikoje. And this coincides with Marseille municipalities partnership with other European cities. And some of them are here today and a special welcome to you. Ir tai yra susijęs su partnerystė, mes taip pat tarp kai kurių miestų savo valdybių įvairios Europos vietos ir kai kurie iš jūs yra esate čia atvykę šiandien ir jūs ypatinkai sveikinti. I would now like to give the floor to the mayor of Mosheki, Mr. Vigmontas Matsvikas. The floor is yours. Dabar norėčiau pakviesti Mosheki mera. Jūs pasveikinti. How was my pronunciation? Kaip mano tarimas buvo? Pavardėsi. Šiaip savo žinčiau. Good morning, all the participants. You are very welcome. You came here and I welcome you. And I congratulate you at the beginning of summer. Hopefully you will be able to find it here. Uh, six months ago and uh, the situation since has changed a lot when you mentioned our partners from Sumi and uh, unfortunately they were not able to participate here because the situation has uh, you know what the situation is with regards to them. And uh, of course, waste management in the world nowadays is probably a great priority. And as Europe is growing, it's not Because in the EU, every year we throw away about three billion uh, tons of uh, waste. And in the EU, every year we throw away about three billion tons of waste. So uh, each person throws away about from 300 to 400 kilos waste and uh, uh, the, um, uh, 
is salvation of uh, this waste is about. No, we can't talk about it yet. Yeah, uh, in some countries, the waste uh, are created. In other countries, the waste. Uh, and so, uh, some amount of it, some percentage of it, is uh, taken to landfills. Uh, the problem is that So, uh, of course, nowadays we have the problem we throw away waste, but uh, also there's a the problem how to pollute as little as possible. How to uh, throw away as little as possible, how to reuse them, how to bring them back to market, uh, how to recycle. And uh, nowadays the Ukrainian government has uh, confirmed the um, waste management plan which takes to uh, 2027. And uh, the plants are quite ambitious to reduce uh, the uh, amount of waste taken to the landfills uh, to 5% by uh, 2030. And to recycle uh, no, no less than uh, 60%. Uh, 60% of the uh, household waste. Mm -hmm. And uh, So uh, the task is specific, uh, even though they are ambitious, but uh, we can share our experience here and to achieve the goals that we put. Thank you very much for your discussions, your conferences, your invitation, and your good wishes. So I wish all of you a successful conference, good work, and you are very welcome once again. Thank you. Thank you so much for this uh, morning. Thank you so much for this morning. We will now have a session where we are looking into uh, the uh, circular based waste management project and what the partners are focusing on within the project in their lives. And I will sum up with uh, some. Good morning once again to all of you. Katopit Laika here. Yes. Majeke, good idea to concept. That's for sure. Majeke, so we will be susidomeyo aplinkos apsaugos ir atlieko tvarkymo problemomis anksčiau jau ir prieš ketrus metus mes kreipėmės į partnerius su tokia iniciatyva ir pradėjome projektą. Tai reiškia trumpai. So, Majeki Municipality got interested in waste management some time ago and four years ago we got into some partnership and started some projects. Where are Majeki, probably you know that the specific jobs are not but I can just focus on the ones that are Majeki, so that I'm not going to Dviejų didžiausių Baltijos šalių jūrų uostų, tarp Klaipėdos ir Rygos, beveik pusiaukėliai, o platėliai, matot, esam nutolę šiandien 50 km susirinkę platėlės. So those of you who are here today probably know where Mažeikė is, however, 
I would like to point out, if you look at the map, that uh, we are midway somewhere between the two most important ports, Plevada and Riga, and also you can see Platili on the map as well. Mažiai, kas gyvena apie 52 tūkstančių, mažiai, kur rajone 52 tūkstančių gyventojų, plotos 1100 kvadratinių kilometrų, savo valdybės biudžetas ir 70 milijonų eurų. Ir kas metai, va, 21 metais, savo valdybės teritorijos komunalinės atlikos sudarė beveik 12 tūkstančių tonų. So the population of Mojeke is 51,612, the area 1,220 square kilometers, and uh, the total amount of waste in 2021 amounted uh, to almost 12,000 uh, tons. Trumpai apie mūsų projektą. Kaip minėjau, anksčiau jau prieš keturis metus buvo idėja dalyvauti atrankoje ir pasikalbėję su partneriais, susirinkome į komandą, mažiaikų savivaldybę, paidės savivaldybę, sumų miesto, reiškia, atlikos, atlikų ir infrastruktūros departamentas ir telčių regioninės atlikų centras ir partneris ekspertas Green Business Norway. Uh, so, as I mentioned before, we got into a partnership some four years ago so, um, by the um, town government uh, got involved, SUMI and also uh, Green Business Norway, um, also our uh, uh, partner. Šiuo metu mūsų projektas įpusėjo, pradžia buvo 20 metų Rupiučio mėnesį pasibaigs kitų metų Rupiučio pabaigoj, arba 36 mėnesiai projektų vertė beveik pusantrų milijonų eurų ir tai yra finansuojama Europos ekonominės erdvės ir Norvegijos regioninių bedarbėjimų fondo reiškia. So uh, our project is currently midway, it started uh, on 1st August 2020 and the end date, estimated end date is uh, uh, the end of July 2023 and it's uh, being uh, financed by uh, European uh, funds and also uh, the European Economic Area and um, uh, Norwegian... Um, Norway Grants. Daugiau apie mūsų projektą galėsit susipažinti svetainį, specialią svetainę, pažymėtų pačioj. Kokia mūsų savivaldybės buvo pozicija ir pagrindinė idėja? Kadangi pasivažinėjus ypač Šiaurės Europos šalyse, kur yra didžiulis dėmesys aplinkos apsaugai ir atlikų tvarkymai, Krinta į akis, kad Lietuvai daug ką mes esam gerai padarę, pavyzdžiui, tar matų sistemą ar ten kitos iniciatyvos, bet su stambė gabaryčių atlikų reikalais tikrai mes stipriai atsiliekam ir norėtųsi, kad šitą problemą būtų sprendžiama. Tai mes tokią idėją ir pasiimėm už pagrindą, kad reikia mažiaikiuose susitvarkyti šitą problemą. Kadangi projektas buvo, sąlygą projekto buvo, kad tai yra minkštas, vadinamas projektas investicijų negalima, tai pagrindinis dalykas buvo pasiruošti dokumentų paketą, galimybių studiją ir visus techninius priešinius pilnai, įgyti patirties patiems, apmokyti specialistų savivaldybės, savivaldybės priklausančių įmonių ir aplamais kleisti tą idėją visuomeniai. Tai va, tokia mūsų pagrindinė idėja ir tikimės, kad mes tikrai einam pagal mūsų programą. Valkį Household Waste Management and therefore we decided to train our staff and to educate the people and projects, so we had to go this way because of that. Jo, tai aš esu įsitikinęs, kad mes 
turėsim gerą koncepciją ir šiuo metu jau atvykta galimybių studiją. Ruošiame užsakyti projektavimą ir trijų, ketrių metų beigiai mažiai, kai skirėtų atsirasti modernus, neatsiliekantis nuo Europos šalių geriausių pavyzdžių toks centras kuriame ne tik būtų tvarkomos atlikos, bet ir stengiama sudaryti sąlygas pakartuotiniam naudojimu. So, according to our plans, in three to four years, also, which will be also adapted, not just to collection, but also reusing of Kadangi tau pant laiką viską smulkiai nebepasakosiu yra parašyta papildomai ir edukacijai ypatingas nemesys, bet va keletą nuotraukų, kur mes esam. So, just to save time, I am not going to talk about it in very detail, however, I would like to show a few photos, which shows where we currently are. Ir kur galėtumėm būti? Taip turėtų atrodyti patogus ištrendintis visos problemas stambių atvarkų centras. And where we could be, so that what modern bulk waste management center could look like. Džiugu, kad mūsų iniciatyva teigiamai, labai teigiamai vertino ir aplinkos ministras, kuris lankėsi šį pavasarį mažiaikiuose, Ir vat su kaimininių savivaldybių administracijų vadovais mes jinai lankėmės Norvegijoje ir pasižiūrėjus vietoj, kaip yra tvarkomasi. Visi sutarėm, kad tikrai telšių apskirtį arba telšių regione toks centras turėtų atsirasti. And we are glad that the environmental ministry of the Republic of Lithuania praised the initiative and also we visited Norway and we all saw what it could look like and we took Norway as an example for this. Dar yra kelios skaidrės, bet laiko sumetimais nesiplėsiu, skaidrės bus padalyti. And they will be available to all participants here. Reiškia, vietoj išvadu keletą punktų, ką norėčiau, bet patogyti infrastruktūrą. So, I'm not going to talk about it in detail, but to sum up... Dėl labai svarbu yra, kad informacija ir žmonės, kurie priima sprendimus, susimastytų daugiau. ...the waste management and the importance and also for the politicians to consider and appreciate the importance of that because the investments are great, so the solutions that they are taking not... ...service and as say extract show, showing the key points where you are right now. Tai ačiū ir galėjau iš prezentaciją ir iš tos punktus, apie kuriuos jūs skalbėjote, kur mes dabar esame, aš taip pat apie tai pakalbėsiu. We will now move on uh, and uh, we will hear about what is going on in Paiva. So I'm not really sure who will present from Paiva, but I'll hand the floor to you. Mes dabar kalbėsime apie Paiva, aš nesu tikras, kas kalbės, nes dabar mes jau žinom. Aš esu viena iš atstogo iš Paidė miesto savaldybės delegacijos, mes šiai esame šiandien. And I'm here on behalf of our project leader, Karola. Unfortunately, she couldn't come today, but hopefully I can manage to present you our small and short presentation. Ir aš šiandien atstovauju mūsų projekto lyderio, kurios dėjai negalėjo atvykti ir negalėjo dėjai atvykti ir aš trumpai jūs pristatysiu šią prezentaciją už jį. First of all, I'd like to say a few words about our town, Baide, and then we have a couple of slides about our project activities too. Pirmiausia, norėčiau papasakoti apie mūsų miestą Paitė, o po to keletą punktų apie 
we could not start from Africa. Okay, so um, Baida is quite a small town in Estonia, but uh, we are one of the oldest towns in, uh, in Estonia, uh, fifth oldest town. We are situated in uh, 1291 already, so we're, we're quite old. Taigi mes esame gana mažas miestelis, tačiau labai senas, perkiu penktis pagal sonumą Estijos miestelis, kuris įkurtas vienas su devinių vienas. We are capital city of Yarra County and by the municipality that has 40 villages all together with one of them. Or not, I don't know the word actually. Most of the region of Sosne is Yarra and by the city of 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 the city. And uh, yes, uh, one interesting fact, uh, we are second biggest town in the municipalities in Estonia uh, that concerns uh, the corridor. Uh, and we're quite small, as I said, uh, in, in our town. Uh, a little bit less than 8,000 people, but altogether in the municipality we have uh, approximately 10,000 people. <laughs> Yes, uh, two years we are already organized. <laughs> and our football. And summer times to uh, search uh, the origin of uh, my husband's grandfather. Oh, they put. Environmental um, achievements uh, in 2021 in the region. Uh, other countries, and we have like, uh, three main points, and the, the main goal uh, in our project is to raise the awareness uh, between. Uh, so here are some activities we have uh, organized this year. From this competition between the partner regions went on a study tour to Norway. Um, and uh, I think uh, we should uh, mention that uh, they really stood out from the ground. Uh, we will now move on to Touch Away Management Center. Um, we will present their activities and projects. Aš Vydimantos Dovarkas, Terčiau regiono priputvarkimo centro direktorius. Aš Vydimantos Dovarkas, aš Vydimantos Dovarkas, aš Vydimantos Dovarkas, aš Vydimantos Dovarkas. 
pridėlėjusių rodėlę, kai kur mes esam, bet jeigu pamatytume, kur mes buvo, tiesiai iš tų laikų nuotrų pašnėtų. So, Virgilius, you're shocked where we are, but if you'd seen where we were, uh, I don't have uh, uh, photos from that period. Buvo laikai, kai buvo, in principle, trys pakuotis. Popierius, stiklas ir metalas. There were times when there were basically three types of packaging, paper, glass and metal. Metalinės konservos, konservų dėžutės, dažniausiai buvo kaupiamos kažkur taip kiemo kraštį. So a metal tents were usually accumulated somewhere at the back of the garden, in the back garden. Stiklo pakuotė, tai dar prieš 30 metų buvo depozitas ir už ją gaudavom dešimt kapeikų, tai rinkdavo, neždavo, čia gaudavom pinigų. So a glass packaging, many years ago, we would have a deposit for that and we would have ten kapeikų for that. Ir visą kitą, netgi šviešę mėsą, sūgį pasilgę, Mes pakuovom arba neždavomės elementarinę popierį. And the rest of it we would just receive packaged in some wrapping paper, like meat or fish or whatever food that would be. Ir buvo du skirtumai. Jeigu rinka parduotuvė turėjo specialų popierių, jeigu vietnesnė, turėjo laikraštį. And uh, there were two differences, however, so, uh, if it was a serious shop, it would have a proper paper to wrap, wrapping paper, and if it's not so serious, then it would be simply a newspaper. So the situation was as early as 40 years ago, like that. But patogų modeliai, higienų sumetimais dar kažką, gal patogiau, sukalvojom plastiką. But either for hygiene purposes or for our convenience, we came up with plastic. Ir 2003 metais prieš kalėdas saivaldybės pamačiusios, kad baigėm užsiversti principą plastikų, į kūrį, per šių regionų, reikų tvarkų centrų. And in 2003, the local authority, having seen that we are drowning in plastic, established this waste management center. Pasistatėm. Nu, šitą, jeigu skaičiuojai, prieš 18 metų. Mes norėjom 18 metų, kad pasiekė lygį. So we basically built it 18 years ago. We had 18 years to reach the level. Pasistatėm savardyną, kuri sakytinka visus gamtos auginius reikalavimus. So we built the landfill, which meets all the environmental requirements. Pasistatėm gamyklą, kurią galėtum apdoroti Afrikas. We built a plant where we could process the waste. Pastatėm šešias stambė gabaričių atliekų aikštelės, kur gyventojai galėtų atvežti į didelių gabarytų atlikas. We built six centers for bulk waste where the people could bring bulk waste. Prie daugiau būčių namų atsirado po žemyniai, pusiau po žemyniai kontaineriai. And near the blocks of flats, semi-underground containers were built. Ir buvo suvargyti visi neatitinkantis savargynai, uždengti, nuduinti ir jie šiandieną nenepelšia 
Tai yra didžiugis investicinis projektas. It is a massive investment project. Nes jokie kondeiniai, jokios gamyklos, jokie perdirbimų pajėgumai nieko neišgerbės, jeigu nepasikeis pas mūsų čia. Because uh, nothing will change anything, uh, no recycling, no centers or any other establishments until we change what is there or mind. Jeigu mes pradėsim tvarkytis nuo į parduotuvę, kad man to nereikia, reikės mažiau pajėgumų tvarkytis kažkur gamykloje ir, ir turim. Ir kada tas bus, kad mes suprasim, kad mes atlikas nešalinam, nerušiojam, spauda irgi dažnai, aš norėčiau, sustabdyti prie to žodžio rušiaimo. Ne, mes susitvartom atlikas. Ir So uh, when we realize, and when we finally realize uh, uh, going to the shop that we don't need, um, that we are not sorting our ways, we are not getting rid of our ways, we are managing it. Ir per septynis metus čia mišios komunalinės atlikos surinktos ir atveštos į savardyną. Jos savardyną yra padavina pozityviai frakcijas, jo degradojimo su Kūdavo, degį frakciją išvežama degintį, bet mišiuotė kiekis per 7 metus sumažėjo 25 metus. And within uh, six years, the number of mixed waste reduced by uh, 25%. Reiškia, auga mūsų karta, kurį verčia mūsų pastyti, ir mes tik vienais metais Šitų nereikalingų, nieko nepanaudojimo atvirkų pažiūrėjimo. So that means that a new generation is growing, which is forcing us to think, and we are trying to sort this out in a proper way. Visus pradėčiais stavimai, sakėme, kažkiekį, tai šiandien jau norėčiau pritraukti. So because everyone is being a little bit rushed, I just want to stop at this point. So I'd rather answer your questions. to the director of Tech Series in Waste Management for really pinpointing what this is actually a resource and imagine that in the future <laughs> this is valuable so keep keep it for a few minutes and I'll give it back later <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much to the gentleman in the back for borrowing me the cash. I will ensure you that you get it back. <laughs> Joe Gassan, this, this is really the essence of the transformation in the recycling energy. Before moving on with my presentation, um, we were supposed to have our friends from Sumi today. So for reasons we all know, they are obviously not here. To remember that and to emphasize and show that they are still part of the project team, even though they are not here. No, I am not saying to you to imagine to or speak to that you are still part of the project team, even though they are not here. We have the Ukrainian flag and two empty chairs. Mes turime Ukrainos sugėlimą ir dvi tušės kėdės. Man atrodo, tai buvo verta paminėjai. Ir tikiuosi, kad ta labai artimoje atrytyje ir vėl bus čia. Na, kas yra labai čia? Na.
I'm gonna give some uh, key, let's say, key points related to good practices in Norway related to circular economy. So, as mentioned initially, I'm the managing director of Business Norway, and we have the privilege to be uh, a part of the circular based waste management project. The uh, directors of Green Business Norway Now, to start with, to give you some perspectives on where Norway as a country is heading. So the, the industry, the authorities uh, formed a roadmap towards 2030. So there are basically four key targets in that roadmap. And I will not go in details into all of them because that would take the entire week. But just to give you the headlines. But the so it's a trump patients for the industrialists. It's about waste minimization. It's about increased recycling of materials. It's about extended lifetime of products. And very importantly, and what might sound a bit technical, um, balancing disposal financing in, against increased market downstream value, and I will explain that. I'll explain it. So it's basically a way of thinking where you gradually reduce the disposal fees, the household fees, uh, as you develop smarter collection systems, smarter ways of uh, recycling, more efficient ways of recycling, and through that creating more high quality secondary raw materials. This is obviously easier said than done, uh, but this is, this is the direction. So again, back to the initial example where, you know, with the packaging material and the euro bill, um, it's all about putting a value on the resource. And on a conceptual level, you could call it a circular symbiosis. I will now, in the coming, next, coming minutes, uh, give you some examples on how the Norwegian financing system and legal framework works. Uh, source separation schemes. Um, I will not say too much about the deposit system because I believe most of you here are familiar with the principles of the deposit system. Um, but I will go a bit deeper into the recycling and waste processing. <laughs> 
plana apie šaltinio skirimus arba skirimą šaltinį, apie tą pastu sistemą daug nekarbėsiu, tačiau karbėsite perdirbama ir atveikų antrinį panotojimą, infrastruktūrą. Just some facts about municipal solid waste in Norway. These are 2019 figures. So just, just basically, you know, it's, it shows that we have, um, yeah. So you will see that per habitant, inhabitant, 427 kilo is generated. And materials going into the deposit system about 8 kilos per habitant. So average recycling in all systems that mitigate all all recyclables in Norway is about 38 percent, and the energy recovery is 58. So these are basically the various treatments. I will not go into detail, but you will see everything from material recycling, uh, biogas production to consideration. So I'm sure many of you are aware of the 65% recycling targets set by the European Union. So what Norway is focusing on is to make it obligatory to have source separation of the waste. And, and increase the curbside collection uh, to collect more waste categories. Uh, to build more capacity to recycle more through central sorting facilities. And PAT, which is basically paid as you throw. More dynamic, uh, let's say, payment mechanisms uh, to basically incentivize you or me or all of us if we dispose and sort the material properly from that. The shift incentive is that we must pass on the money to use the resources. And obviously we have the aspect of uh, this time for reduction, which was emphasized also by the director of the Regional Waste Management Center. It's a very important point to achieve these targets. We need to develop the demand for recycled resources. Uh, 
I will now just start the videos. Could you just let me know how I'm with the time here? Uh, you should go to the end. Go to the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have five minutes. I will obviously share this presentation with you later. Uh, but um, so it's really about the bin system and the way you collect the material, as an example here. I spoke about central sorting, I will move on to the next slide so you don't need to. A few words about the flagship projects in Norway. So just by the meaning of flagship, it means projects that are regarded to be very innovative in Norway. So we have a quite advanced uh, energy and nutrient recovery facility called the Magical Factory. The Magic Factory. So basically, it's about really optimizing the energy utilization in everything from the food waste, combining in agricultural, uh, organic waste, to food processing waste. And to make a complete cycle of this. And this is really done in an industrial scale. Uh, in Norway, where, keeping in mind that Norway is quite a small country, so it's quite challenging to achieve scale of economy as compared with other cities. It's in on in or not in on uh, industrial scale? It's on, on industrial, industrial scale. Yes. And there is also a knowledge and experience center connected with this magical factory. Where educational activities on an ongoing basis is done in cooperation with the local high school. I mentioned initially the importance of central sorting facilities as a really a workhorse and a key component to achieve the recycling targets. I will not have time to go into details, but we have achieved some amazing results in this field in Norway. So just as one example, I will now skip to one, one of the conclusions. So, so in one of the territories where uh, such a facility is operating, 82% of all plastics in the residual waste have been sorted out. And 
And for those of you that are in the recycling business, you understand that is quite a remarkable result. So now moving to, towards the end, I will give a few words on the pay as you throw principle. This is a model operated by one of the Norwegian intermunicipal waste operators. So the purpose of this model, I will very briefly just address the purpose and the results. So basically the purpose is to stimulate the increased recycling and reduce the residual waste. Where you are able to make more downstream earning based on being more efficient. Principle, basic fee for everyone, meaning the households. But there are discounts elements. For instance, if you share your bin with your neighbor. If you put less material in the residual fraction. And if you engage in composting activities. So basically, the results or the sorry, the effect once the municipality of Bergen introduced that system were shown from one day to the next. Which is uh, quite um, unique in the recycling industry that you see effect within that short period of time. As a final remark to what this inter-municipal waste operator is doing is A. They have the lowest annual household fee in Norway. Compared with other other regions. And they have the most complex intensive waste management infrastructure. Sorry, uh, infrastructure which is the uh, most complex intensive or capital intensive. The uh, capital intensive. Another example. I'm now moving towards the very end. I used the initial example with the euro. With modern technology today, so you can create very efficient collection and sorting points. That material record that. Recognizes and identifies the material. 
kurie tietuškai jie atpažįsta ir nustato, kokia medžiaga tai yra. Source it at source. Ir pačioje, ir tuo metu ir viską išskirsto. And incentivizes you when you dispose that material. Ir taip pat jūs skatina, jūs suteikia iniciatyvą, kai jūs tą medžiaga atsikratė, kai ją išmetė. Vice having set up the predefined value of that material. And you are basically being paid for delivering that material into the system. I think I will stop here and uh, I'm happy to you know answer any questions during the breaks. Ir man atrodo, šią vietą aš sustausiu, patikos metu prašymai klausiai, turės tai klausiai.